Welcome to Stepping Into the Light with Julia Treat, a weekly podcast devoted to helping you open up to your own unique abilities so you can receive loving and supportive messages from your loved ones, angels, and guides. Greetings, beautiful. Oh, I hope you are moving through life realizing just how special you are. I hope that you are connecting with your angels and guides and your entire spiritual team on a regular basis. Hope that you are feeling the love that they hold for you because you, my friend, you are treasured. You are loved and you are not alone. So today I want to talk about your vision. Do you have a vision of your life, of where you're headed, or what you want your life to be like? One of the first things I do when I work with or mentor people one-on-one, or even in groups, is I tell them that they must get clear on their vision. Because if you don't have a vision of what would make you happy, then how does the universe know what to bring you? Does that even make sense? So the universe is mirroring us 24 seven, okay? It is listening to us by our vibration. And even just putting a thought out to the universe is a vibration within you. So I encourage people to create a vision that exceeds anything that you could ever right now feel that you could come up with on your own. So creating a vision of what your dream home would be like, what your dream life would be like, and staying away from how this all happens, the money part of it. Okay, that's where people get hung up on things. I have some pretty massive visions, I assure you. And I share them with some people. A handful of people know my visions and because they are grand. And I'm not about to share my visions with someone who is either going to be a naysayer, tell me I'm nuts, um, roll their eyes. I mean, you name it. We are being asked to dream bigger. But if your dream includes, but I'm going to have to work a second job to do that, or three jobs, or overtime, or that will never happen for me, your vision's not going to come. But if you can create a vision, this dream life, and put it out to the universe and say, God, this. This is what I envision for myself. And you stay away from how that happens or who's going to bring that to you or how many hours you're going to have to work. And you just feel it, this vision, as if this is my truth now within your soul. That is how you bring in all the good stuff. So I'm a big believer in vision boards and vision books. I have two boards that sit next to me in my um, workspace where I'm recording this right now. This beautiful deck that I have created. I have big picture windows. I have plants all over. I have my Chief Joseph statue standing here that comes up to my you know, chest. He's in here as an overseer. I have a fountain that I'm usually running. I'm not running it now because you would hear it in the background but I want the the constant flowing in, that water flowing. I have lots of angels and fairies and crystals and Ganesh, a prayer flag. I have candles. It's just my beautiful space here that I've created. And my vision boards are a part of this space. And they are massive. Not the boards. 
my visions for my life. See, I'm, I'm leaving a legacy. It's funny, the other day I heard that. I was like, I'm leaving a legacy. And this is not from ego whatsoever. It's just, I'm leaving a legacy. That's what I came here to do. Not a legacy as in, oh, they will always remember me. But I am leaving this place, this planet, better in any way that I can, better than the way I came in with it as. I'm leaving things better for the next generations. That's my legacy. That's what I have planned. So my dreams are big. They are massive. They are huge. Many people have heard about my dreams that I trust, and it never fails. We always get goosebumps when I talk about it. Now, goosebumps for me is the the wink from the universe saying, yes, this is happening. This is coming. I'm getting goosebumps just saying that. I also realize that what I have envisioned is so big that it takes more than me. It's going to take more than me coming up with the money or the the plans and all this. It takes the universe. It takes my spiritual team. It takes God. It has been several years as I have been manifesting this, but I have continued to get wink after wink. I call them God winks. I keep getting the wink saying, you just keep holding the vision and we are putting things together. Sometimes our plan is so big that, you know, there's, there's other players in our vision. It's not just us. So there are so many other souls involved in my vision. And I have recently now, I have started asking the angels to go out and help every soul that has anything to do with my vision. Help them, help them step up, help them step into their power, help them do the healing they need so that they are part of the team. They come in healed and whole as part of this team that I am creating or bringing together for this big vision. So I recently went to a spiritual retreat that I go to regularly. It's one of my favorite places to go. And it's only about three hours, two, three hours from my house. So it's not too far. And I went there because I've just been honestly working really hard. And I sometimes get into that motion of, and I realize it, I'm working too hard to try to make something happen. That is not a space that I manifest well in. Or I'm going to say this, I choose not to. I don't want to, if you are fully aligned with your vision, your belief, You are fully in alignment that this is my vision. This is my, I can do this with less work on my my end. I can do this with less, with, with having more fun, with going out more, with just bringing myself into that space of joy and laughter that I can manifest this just by doing that. I love that so much more. I love to be in alignment with that. I want to be having more fun as I put out to the universe, get this shit done for me. So I'm at the spiritual retreat and I'm walking into the gift shop and I'm just there because I just need to, ah, I just need to let go of everything. I've been working so hard and it seems that when I start working really hard at something, trying to make it happen, everything stops. But you know what? It's because that's not what my soul is aligned with. My soul knows what's possible. My soul knows that miracles can show up in the blink of an eye and that I didn't have to do anything for that miracle to show up. So I'm at this retreat for a few days and I'm, you know, that whole time I am resting and relaxing, but I'm also asking universe for any guidance, anything that, you know, is there anything that I'm missing or I need to be doing? So as I'm walking around the gift shop and I'm literally asking for guidance, is there anything I need to be doing? I spot this deck of cards. Now I have many decks of cards. And if you've listened to my podcasts, I sometimes pull a card and I just read it for the group. That's a fun thing to do. 
And I'll even ask for a group message and pull it and read it. But as I'm walking through and I notice this deck of cards, and it's by Alana Fairchild, who is one of my favorite authors. She is the one that created the Kuan Yin deck that I read from regularly. But this deck is called Sacred Rebels. It's her Sacred Rebels Oracle Cards, Guidance for Living a Unique and Authentic Life. I looked at that and I knew that was calling my name because I've always, always called myself a rebel. I picked the card up. They had a deck out called the Demo Deck, so you could actually, you know, open it up and look through the cards. And I pulled the cover off of the box. And the first card staring at me on the top of the deck was Big Bold Vision. I just about died. It was the only card, as I started fingering through the deck, it's the only card that was turned up. The others were all turned the same direction, the opposite direction. I mean, I can't, you can't make this shit up. And I know this happens for so many of you. We are open to the God winks, they will come. So I pulled this card up and I just stared at the woman's face on the front. I'm like, holy cow, that's me. Look at her. She is like powerful. She's a warrior. And she's got her eyes fixed on her vision. And so I pulled out the little book because I thought, oh, I got to read about this because this is the message I just asked for. I just said, is there something I'm missing? Is there something else that I need to be doing? And as you're holding the vision that you have, and I hope it's fucking big, I truly do. You will have those thoughts come up, those human thoughts, because we are human. Those little ego thoughts that come up and say, gosh, am I missing something? Is there some way I can make this happen? (laughs) That's what we'll do. So I want to read this for you. This card, Big Bold Vision, it's number 15, because I have a feeling this is a message for many of you who have a vision that you're not quite sure how it's all going to unfold yet, or I want you to take it as a message that your vision is not big enough. And perhaps that's why things haven't aligned for you, because it's supposed to be so much bigger. So here is the meaning of this card, Big Bold Vision. You were not born to play a small role in life. You have the ability to dream big. Even if you have absolutely no idea about how your visions can come to pass or what all of the details may look like, you can access the heart and guts of a vision by tapping into your wildest dreams and surrendering surrendering attachment to exactly how it will all work out. The details are up to the creative genius of the universe. You are an active, contributing participant, but not the sole player in your life journey. There is something, a vision or an idea, that is coming to you. You may worry that it is too much for you, but don't worry. It is meant to be yours. Although you might have some adjustments to make and some tweaking to do as you let go of your limited thinking and open up to a fearless acceptance of bigger, brighter, more radical, and more potent possibilities of creatively living your light in the world. A sign that you are cracking out of your limited thinking to allow for a big, bold vision to come to you is that you might feel a little dizzy with the shrinking limitations and expanding possibilities of life. You may wonder if you are allowed to access so much wonder. Remember that in your healing and growing success, as you manifest this big vision, you can touch the hearts of others through your presence, your inner work, your art, and your choices. It is a win-win situation. 
Those that are meant to live big, bold, and visionary lives need to give themselves permission to break the mold and forge newer, more expansion perspectives of what is possible, what is permitted, and what is of service. It's about letting go and opening up. Others will benefit from this. Even though it is your vision, it is not just about you. You are being asked to remember that when something is right for you, endless synchronicities and support will flow your way at the right time, in the right way. Just stay open, receptive, playful, and surrendered. This oracle brings you a message. You are about to receive or be invited to become a part of a grand visionary beginning. It has the makings of something fantastic. No matter how the journey that brings this vision into reality unfolds, and there will be some twists and turns that you don't see coming, it is still helpful for you to be open to it. Trust your heart, be still with your choices, and when the time feels right and truthful, take that leap of faith. This oracle brings a message for those who would like to further develop their intuitive sight. It is already happening. Trust in what you perceive even if it com conflicts with what everyone else around you is saying or the surface of things trust your inner perceptions they are accurate and will be proven to be so later on this oracle brings a general message of positive energy trust that things will be coming up roses for you even if everything seems to be in a bit of a shambles now it's really just the essential mess before a truly spectacular success. So I want to do this healing process that Alana has in this little book with this card. Let's do this real quick. I want you to just say these things or repeat after me. I release all blocks to my vision. I release all beliefs, conscious or unconscious, stored in my body or mind that would have me belittle or minimize myself out of fear or ignorance. I choose to be bold, big, and bright. to vision with my heart and receive all of the genius of the universe. In supporting that vision in coming to life. So be it. I hope that you get your message today. You can never outdream God. And often our vision needs God. We need God to take care of the rest. Surrender. Hold the vision. Let go of control. Tell God to do the rest. And follow any opportunities, ideas, things that come your way. You cannot make a wrong decision as long as you are moving forward, holding your vision. Sending massive love to you. I'll see you next time. God bless. Thank you so much for listening to Stepping Into the Light. If you like what you heard, please share this podcast with your family and friends. And be sure to visit Julia's website at juliatreat.com to sign up for monthly cyber swag including meditations, rituals, readings, and lots of other life-changing stuff straight to your inbox. It's free.